Many people in the ThinkPad community are still quite salty about the demise of the classic ThinkPad keyboard. But let's be realistic. The change happened over 10 years ago, and at this point in time it is pretty clear that the classic keyboard is not coming back anytime soon. In the meanwhile, the chiclet keyboard that Lenovo has been using since 2012 continued to evolve. And to illustrate this point, I'm going to compare the keyboard in my ThinkPad X230 with uh, the keyboard in my ThinkPad T480S. And for those who do not know, X230 was the first ThinkPad to use uh, the chiclet keyboard, and it shares its uh, keyboard with such models as T430, T430S, uh, T530, and basically all the other ThinkPads of that generation. And uh, likewise, T480S shares its keyboard with many other uh, ThinkPad models, and I believe that uh, many later ThinkPads, such as T490 and uh, T14, use basically the same keyboard design. And uh, this makes this comparison quite interesting. I would also like to note that Lenovo uses uh, keyboards made by many different suppliers. And my X230 uses a, a Chikoni keyboard. And the Chikoni keyboards are considered some of the worst ThinkPad keyboards out there. While my T480S uses a Sunrex keyboard. And keyboards made by Sunrex are considered some of the best ThinkPad uh, keyboards. So basically, I'm comparing the worst X230 keyboard to the best T480S keyboard. Please keep this in mind while watching this video. The keyboard layout is basically identical between the two laptops. However, I was very pleased to discover that Lenovo has made some subtle but important improvements since the X230 days. On the X230, the top row of keys is uninterrupted, while on the T480S, the F keys are grouped in clusters of four, and the Home and Insert Delete keys also get their own cluster. This makes it much easier to find the Home and End keys without looking at the keyboard. The Page Up and Page Down keys on the X230 are also positioned right against the arrow keys. On the T480S, there is a slight gap between the Page Up, Page Down and the arrow keys. On the X230, I often press the wrong key by accident, but the gap on the T480S all but eliminates this problem. Going on a tangent, I should also note that Lenovo really dropped the ball with the keyboard layout on these newer ThinkPads. First of all, the location of the print screen button is really bizarre. Is it really such an important function that it needs its own key right on the bottom row between the Ctrl and Alt keys? Also, the Page Up and Page Down keys should have been Home and End, and vice versa. But let's return to the subject of the video. The X230 keyboard has separate buttons for muting the audio, changing the volume and disabling the built-in microphone. On the T480S, these buttons are integrated into the function row. Thankfully, the lights that indicate the status of the audio output and the built-in microphone are still there. Oh, by the way, on the T480S, it is possible to switch the function of the F keys between the standard F1 to F12 and the additional functions printed on them, such as screen brightness, etc., by pressing Fn and Escape at the same time. On the X230, the additional functions always have to be activated with the help of the function key. Another small detail. There is no caps lock LED on the X230 or any other ThinkPad of the same generation. Instead, they use a stupid on-screen indicator, which requires a small app running in the background. On the T480S, the CAPS lock key has an integrated lock indicator. If the T480 has a slightly better layout, the X230 has a better typing field. Looking at the keyboard sideways, it is easy to notice that the keys on the X230 sit a bit higher above the keyboard deck. Measuring the height with calipers shows that the keys on the X230 are 2.1 mm high, while keys on the T480S are 1.5 mm high. While the difference of 0.6 mm is not massive, you can definitely feel it when typing. The X230 has a longer travel and the keys themselves feel crisper. On the T480S, the travel is shorter and the keys feel softer and not as crisp. The T480S keyboard is still fantastic and a pleasure to type on, but the X230 is a bit better. 
ThinkPads are famously equipped with a track point in addition to the touchpad. I'm talking about this small red joystick in the middle of the keyboard, also known as the nipple mouse. On the X-30, the track point is noticeably taller and easier to operate than on the C480S. I also prefer the X-30 track point buttons, they are not as wide, but quite a bit taller. On the plus side, the track point on the T480S seems to have a higher resolution and is more comfortable if used with a high resolution screen. So, what is my conclusion? Which laptop has a better keyboard? Overall, I would call it a draw. While I appreciate a longer key travel on the X230, I also like the improvements made to the layout on the T480S. And frankly, I am willing to give up a bit of key travel in exchange for a much thinner laptop.